I made this asking um, in one of the projects where I was a conflict on a person who has 10 years of hands-on technical experience and a person who has intuitive knowledge. How do you settle or discuss the conflict? I tried brainstorming and listing down props and cons, however, it didn't work. What else can I do? Get them talking together. And understand the objective because we, uh, we, we face these situations every day on customer side or in, even internally or between those or with our partners. So in the end of the day, uh, technology or whatever hands-on experience, I don't know, assembling Lego constructor serves to some human objectives. We, you need to understand what is the objective and whether both persons or the army of people are serving that ultimate strategic alignment purpose. Uh, in uh, all the experience that I had also in the past as, uh, as a delivery manager and as a project manager working with uh, project teams and very different uh, personalities on those, uh, I can say from that experience that uh, putting people together, calling to the rational, somehow uh, rational thinking, explaining to them what we are trying to, to achieve together as a team, um, the, the objective, right? Uh, understanding the common objective, agreeing on this, uh, uh, and most people would agree on uh, this general objective. Then talking uh, to uh, uh, letting them to uh, talk uh, their arguments, right? Um, and then finding uh, a way to uh, uh, get into the uh, little details. It's usually little detail that is different, uh, that is causing this misunderstanding. So it is a, a, a skill and an art of a facilitator, a manager or a scrum master quite often, right? That the, uh, that is used to to, uh, to resolve these conflicts, but without communicating, without uh, uh, having a common ground about the objectives and uh, an open communication, it would be very hard. So I think, Amit, you are doing uh, absolutely right things, and maybe it takes sometimes a few rounds to to resolve the conflict. Yeah, and Amit, engage them because from from your question, I see you try to brainstorm and list down pros and cons, but uh, have you done that? That exercise collectively don't be afraid of the conflict if you have to face something for decision making face it otherwise we, we're stepping into this dark area of uh, percentage of fear which was which is holding us back from decision